I am actually gonna go and get some frozen delicious treats. Good enough. What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog. It is another day in Pittsburgh. Um, I am really hungry. I had to do some laundry. I think it's about it's 12 o'clock pretty much on the dot. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably walk up the street. There was a cool place that I really wanted to eat at last night. I just wanted to get something, you know, simple, light, just a sandwich or something. There's like a, a bar and grill that I wanted to do, but uh, unfortunately, um, I guess because of the pandemic, some of the places close a little bit early, but we are going to head over there for lunch now. I might as well kill some time while my laundry is being washed or done in the machine. And uh, I'm hoping to go and check out, there's this really cool place, it's about two hours from here. It's uh, known as the Streetcar Graveyard, so there's a whole bunch of streetcar trolley type of things. And um, basically, they've all been brought to this one location where they've essentially just sat there for many many years no longer in use uh, it's very unfortunate to see but I am hoping that maybe either today tomorrow or the day after I'll be able to head over there because um, I think it would be a really cool place to explore uh, we are still unfortunately waiting for Brent's schedule to free up um, that probably won't happen until like early next week. I really can't wait to see him. That's the, the, honestly the reason why I came to Pittsburgh right away was obviously to see Brent and Matt. But yeah, I am still waiting for another YouTuber as well to get back to me to see if uh, I'm going to go and meet up with him. But we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to go head up the street now and uh, find something to eat because I am starving. Oh, 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 a little bit of road rage. He's honking. So this is the area where my Airbnb is uh, located here in Pittsburgh, and uh, it's not too bad. At least the sun's shining. Happy for that. It's warm today. Definitely much warmer than yesterday. So the restaurant's about, I think about 15 minutes walking up that way. Um, might as well get my exercise, kill off some time, then I'll grab some grub and head back to the Airbnb and see what exactly I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I'm debating whether I wanna do that two hour drive or if I just wanna go and roam around downtown Pittsburgh. I'll even make a main channel video out of that because um, downtown Pittsburgh's really cool. So we'll see, I haven't really decided yet. So uh, this is the place I had looked up last night and I'm like, you know what, I'll come here for lunch. But, um, I don't know if they're open. Oh yes, yeah, yeah, okay, they're open. It says yes, we're open. So, uh, unfortunately, it seems like they're kind of closed. That sucks. Now, I gotta find somewhere else that I can eat. Uh, I really wanted a, just a sandwich. That's literally all I wanted. Uh, there's Japanese cuisine, burgers, pasta, steak, seafood, salad, cocktails. Yeah, you know what? Let's try that one out. So there's this Murray Street Grill or whatever. Hopefully this one's open. So unfortunately this place is closed too. I am, I am literally striking out at every location. I just want to eat something quick, but it's like everything's freaking closed. There's an Eaton Park, so I'm going to try that one next. Alright, Eaton Park has to be open. They do breakfast, so... It's gotta be, gotta happen, come on. Sweet, finally found a place that's open. So uh, for lunch, I'm just gonna go light. Just ordered a salad with some ribeye. Um, glad I finally found something that's open. At least Eaton Park's reliable. That's definitely a good thing. This is the place where Brent always takes me every time I come here. He literally loves this place. Oh, and he also works at one of them, uh, just part time, um, but yeah. And my food is here, it's lunch time. We got some shaved ribeye on salad with some like eggs and stuff. Just, you know, trying to be a little bit healthy today. All right guys, so uh, we are back to hitting the road. Um, I am actually gonna go and get some frozen delicious treats. Uh, you guys will actually see why in probably a few moments, um, but I am gonna be traveling probably about a half an hour away from here. Um, there is a specific reason. We'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Um, but yeah, let's uh, hit the road. And the one thing that I've been noticing here in Pittsburgh, so much traffic all the time, all day long. Look at that lineup of cars there. So I gotta wait before I can actually pull out. 
telling you guys, everywhere I go, there's literally so much traffic. Mind you, it's like 420. Who the heck is honking? Relax, man. Chill out. What's the hurry? But yeah, so uh, 417 p.m. So go figure that there would be pretty much rush hour at this point. So I am heading to a place known as Sheets. Sheets is basically like a combination of like a gas station and you know, they sell food and beer and all sorts of things. Uh, there's something specific that I'm gonna grab probably like 12 of, um, <laughs> depending on how many they have. Uh, it's gonna be really, really funny. So uh, maybe I'll grab some beer, some Stella along the way. Could use some of that. So I've now made it to Sheets, and uh, we're gonna head on inside and grab those things that I need. You guys will see that in a second. Good enough. So I think that's all I can carry. So you guys are probably wondering why the heck I bought 10 SpongeBob SquarePants uh, popsicles. Reason why is uh, I, I actually can't take too long because I don't want them to melt. Um, but the reason why is I'm going to see Brent, and uh, he asked me to come to Sheets to buy ten of these along the way. So he actually started this trend on TikTok. It's really really funny, where he's trying to find perfect SpongeBob SquarePants popsicles. And I don't know why I was so out of focus there, but and the reason why. Um, is there really is no reason. Well, the reason is kind of that he's trying to find like perfect ones where the eyes are perfect, the teeth are perfect, that sort of thing. Because for some reason, every single one he gets is completely imperfect, except for I think one so far. He's probably opened up like a hundred of them. And at this point, it's kind of like opening Pokemon cards for him. It's it's freaking hilarious. You got to check it out on TikTok at Brent Television. Um, but yeah, he asked me to pick those up along the way. And uh, there's a reason why he couldn't go by himself, which I'll tell you when, when we actually see him but he also asked me to go and pick him up some Dunkin Donuts because uh, the poor guy has been stuck at home for pretty much like three four days now and uh, yeah we'll see him in a little bit Dunkin Donuts acquired that was literally like the slowest coffee run I've ever done <laughs> you can tell they're completely understaffed and probably also don't really give a shit about their job um, so they just operate really really slowly but uh, now I am on the way to go and see Brent um, and give him all his popsicles and his coffee because that's what he wanted. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I got you 10. No, you didn't. Yeah. Did I 10? Yeah. Coffee. <laughs> Money. <laughs> I also brought something from Canada. Canada, eh? Got some maple syrup. He doesn't know he's getting that though. So you guys may have figured out why we're so separated. Unfortunately, uh, Brent got the vid. Um, don't know how, it just kind of happened, but uh, whatever. I brought you gift from, oh from Canada. <laughs> Dutchman's Gold. Yeah. Like a name brand. I have no idea. I've never tried it before, but. Did you get it in the Pittsburgh airport? <laughs> no, I bought it from the grocery store in Canada. <laughs> so this is essential. It is. You can't buy diapers. No, you can't buy diapers. But you can buy real Canadian maple syrup, which is absolutely essential in Canada. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are entering back into downtown Pittsburgh. We actually might get a pretty cool view here. Not too bad, there's the skyline. If you go further down, the, the, the view is a lot better. Uh, but that's not bad. That's pretty cool. Traffic's moving okay. I'm actually going to head... I'm actually going to meet uh, Arcade Matt. Uh, apparently there's a pinball tournament going on, and that's where he's hanging out tonight. So uh, right I'm going to go hang out with him for a little bit. There is the uh, stadium there. I think that's the Steelers stadium, if I'm not mistaken. Keep left at the fork. 
What's actually pretty cool about it is um, they actually filmed the Dark Knight. If you remember the Bane scene, that was done in there. Yeah, Heinz uh, Stadium or whatever. Heinz Field, sorry. <laughs> Keep left at the fork. Beautiful. So, I have made it downtown uh, Pittsburgh. Just randomly found a parking spot. And I look across the street and there appears to be an abandoned church. Or at least it looks like an abandoned church. Not 100% sure, but uh, I'm gonna take a quick look right now. Yep, definitely looks abandoned to me. A lot of, uh, a couple of broken windows. Some boards. That tells me uh, it's abandoned. It's a very nice old looking church and there's a whole bunch of like buildings attached to it too. I don't know what the rest of this is, but uh, looks interesting. So I kind of wanted to take a uh, look inside. Eh, the door kind of opens a little bit. <laughs> looks interesting. Could be kind of cool. Alright guys, so I did manage to find an opening. Uh, I'm not going to do the church and the school right now. Um, I will definitely do it probably shortly, maybe like tomorrow or something like that. Um, depending on the weather, because I'm trying to figure out exactly what to do, what else to film. Um, this spot seems actually pretty epic, so we might try that out tomorrow, but for now I'm just going to go and uh, check out this pinball place with Matt, because um, he's probably there already, and uh, we'll just hang out, whatever. Moving along with this vlog, um, today has been pretty fun actually, I, I, uh, I kind of enjoyed myself. Um, that church was really cool, um, and so was the pinball, uh, that's where I was actually. Uh, I filmed a little, I, I didn't want to film too much because there was a, uh, quite a few people in there and I kind of felt like I was invading their privacy a bit, I guess, I don't know. I, I just kind of wanted to chill out with Matt and, uh, and watch some people play pinball. I didn't even really play myself, I just kind of had an espresso and a really, really good sandwich. Um, which was awesome. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna head back to the Airbnb now. I am quite exhausted. But yeah, I will see you guys. Oh, there's a bug in here. Gosh darn it. All right, so I will see you guys back at the Airbnb in a little bit. All right, guys, I have made it back to the Airbnb. I have so much to do. I have literally clothes everywhere. I gotta start packing up because tomorrow I'm actually gonna be heading out of Pennsylvania. Uh, I don't want to say exactly where as of yet because I do want to kind of keep it as a little bit of a surprise. So definitely keep following along with these vlogs so you know where it is that I'm going. But there's going to actually be a really, really amazing spot that I've always wanted to do tomorrow um, is the day they were finally going to get to explore it. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to do like a night investigation in this place just yet. That probably will happen in the future, um, but I will be able to get to explore but I will be able to explore it during the day, which is awesome. It's probably one of the most haunted places in the entire United States, uh, which is very, very exciting, especially for you guys, because I know you guys love the haunted stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, I did actually get something there. I got a couple of beers that I'm gonna try, and I uh, decided I'd probably include it in this vlog, give you guys a little bit more entertainment. Um, they're actually local. Pittsburgh beers. I was at one of the uh, the beer stores uh, locally here and I asked the dude what is a good lit local Pittsburgh beer or brewery or whatever and he showed me one of the uh, very popular local ones so I decided to grab a couple and we're gonna try those out right now. Alright so we got three beers here. We got um, Trogues and Trogues and Stella. So Stella is kind of my uh, baseline because that's what I usually like to drink. These other two are uh, Pittsburgh native beers. We got Grand Cacao, so I guess that's like a chocolatey flavor, which is kind of cool. And we also got Dream Weaver, which is a wheat beer. Okay, so the first one I've decided to try is the uh, Grand Cacao. Oh, I missed the uh, garbage can. <laughs> oh, well, I'll grab that later. All right. That's interesting. That is a very interesting flavor. The first sip was very hoppy, um, but not like crazy overly hoppy. I've had some like really, really hoppy beers before. I know this is this video has pretty much turned into like a beer review, but whatever, man. I like beer. If you guys like beer, then uh, gotta try different things, right? That's actually interesting. Nice. So I'm gonna try the uh, the wheat one next. All right, we got wheat beer. Let's try and get it into the trash can again. Oh, I missed again. 
<laughs> Apparently I suck. <laughs> The wheat beer is good, actually. I like that. It has a nice, nice taste to it. It's very smooth, actually. Unfiltered. Very cool. This is actually from here, right? Maybe I should uh, should have double-checked. I mean, I'm pretty sure the guy knows what the heck he's talking about. Uh, Trogues Brewing Company, Hershey, Pennsylvania. So I'm not exactly sure where Hershey is, but it's probably near Pittsburgh. I should literally make this a thing. Let me know if you guys want me to make uh, beer tasting and maybe some wine tasting a thing on this channel, like kind of in between, or just kind of throw them into the vlogs just like this. I think it's fun. I don't see why not. But uh, definitely my go-to is uh, Stella Artois. Still my favorite. I'm not gonna open that one just yet because now I have two freshly opened beers. And on that note, I am going to end off this vlog. Um, I'm trying to do these probably daily. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up with that and then also the main channel But I'm gonna try and do as many vlogs as I possibly can um, There will likely be four to five every single week at least for the next few months as I'm going along my travels um, So again, I definitely wanted to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all the support and all the love that you guys give me I really really appreciate every little bit of it helps um, put a smash Put a smash, put a smash that like. <laughs> Can't speak tonight apparently. Uh, smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. Uh, as well, if you're new, subscribe, turn notifications on because I'll be doing, like I said, as many of these as I can. Follow along on the main channel as well. We do a lot of abandoned and haunted videos. And uh, other than that, thanks for watching and see you guys in the next one. Love you very much.